life as cute even as a hundred. Is saying Merry Christmas haram? That's the number one question. Can I wish my colleagues Merry Christmas? Can I say to my friends Merry Christmas? Is Merry Christmas haram? Can I say that? I'm just saying it. I don't believe it. I'm just saying is Merry Christmas haram or not? Can I just say Merry Christmas? What's the problem with that? This talk is not about telling me, telling you, is it haram or halal, that's not it. I'll leave it to those who are more qualified. This talk is about the opportunity for interfaith dialogue. You see, as Muslims, we have Eid. That is our celebration. And that's something we all have to remember, that our celebration is Eid. Their celebration is Christmas. If you're that concerned about coming off sincere of interfaith and so you want to wish Merry Christmas, instead why don't you ask him something more important as in, how do you celebrate Christmas? Tell me the rituals that you guys do in your family for Christmas. This is the perfect opportunity for an interfaith dialogue. Because as Muslims you can explain to them that I don't, I don't know how, all I know about Christmas is what I've seen on TV. Do you guys believe in Santa Claus? You can ask him questions. What happened? Do you guys get a tree? What does that look like? Who decorates the tree? How is that working? Do you get a lot of gifts? What happens on Christmas for you guys? Because with that, you are coming off more sincere. You come off like you're someone who cares because if you want them to care about Eve, if you want them to learn about your being, it's only fair that you learn about theirs. Ask them how they celebrate theirs. Because the natural question after that is, okay, but how do you celebrate yours? Oh, mine. Oh, mine is Eid. Oh, what do you guys do? Do you guys have a tree? No, 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 we don't have trees. Mashallah, we get money sometimes. How do you guys do Eid? Oh, oh, it's after Ramadan. And you start explaining to them. Because the interesting thing about a dialogue is that when you show interest in someone else's faith, they start showing interest in yours. Even if it's not sincere, out of common courtesy. You can explain to them, I don't understand Christmas. All I've seen is what's in the movies, what's in the TV shows. Do you guys still believe in Santa Claus? Is that a real thing? All I know about Christmas is from Home Alone. That's all I know about Christmas. Do Harry and Mark try to rob your house? I don't know what happens on Christmas. The beautiful thing about an interfaith dialogue is you're allowed to ask them questions and they don't feel shy in answering. So that guess what happens? When it's your turn, they can ask you questions. They can ask us questions about Islam and we can respond as well. So instead of wondering and debating at a lower level question as to, is Merry Christmas haram? Is this saying it haram? Instead, take this as an opportunity to open up an interfaith dialogue with them. Take this as an opportunity to ask them questions about their being because the moment you start showing interest in their being, not to accept it, but so that you can understand it, so that you can give them da'wah as well, they will begin interested in yours and you can explain to them what Eid is, how we celebrate Eid, why do we celebrate Eid, what's the significance of that, and who knows? Maybe you also start explaining that, oh, we believe in Jesus as well. And the next thing you know, it is a much better and higher quality conversation than asking someone, is saying Merry Christmas haram?